Hello, good day to you, it's me Andy and this is Training the Right Way. I had great plans to produce a training course for this uh, website developer. It's WebLiam. Uh, I discovered it by accident when some video vlogger was making a video about something and they said they recommended this WebLiam as being easy to use and so I, I was only in the market for looking for a very simple easy to use uh, efficient website developer now as you all know I use Mobarize which let's face it is not ideal for developing a website that you want it's more about what they want and you have to use their blocks unless you know programming because uh, that's the only way that you're going to be able to develop a page that you want rather than what's already been designed so it is very limiting in the fact that it's not no code WebLiam is no code as far as I know although you can add code uh, it's perfectly acceptable to add-ons and uh, I have tried other uh, applications and they leave a little bit to be desired. I mean, I'm not going to name names because I'm going to be doing reviews about them. But for now, let me just say that top of my list is Weblium. Hmm. Well, so I thought, here's the website that they, they advertise their um, wares on. Forgive the, the rubbish at the top here. I would prefer that they wouldn't, that you could turn that bit off because I don't particularly, I don't agree with the sentiments of that. Uh, so this is the solutions you can do on my store. The only thing that I couldn't see, I mean, even though it says blogging, it doesn't mention memberships, which is what I wanted to be able to do. And I don't think that you can at the moment. So features pricing, pricing wise, it's quite good. Uh, you have to have the pro version, uh, eight pound eight eight dollars twenty five a month, which I thought was quite reasonable. And there's lots of features that you get. Templates three hundred plus, which you can use, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, you get a free domain for a year. Well, I'm not worried about that. So I signed up for a free site because I wanted to try out. In actual fact, if you look at all the things, it is actually pretty much the same the only thing you can't do is take payments not let me set that up because i didn't have a, a pro account uh, studio obviously they will create the site for you and for from 250 us dollars that's not too bad i mean i don't know how good they are because i'm not awarded one if you want to save money which is what i would do they offer you the chance to pay for five sites so you can create five sites for three hundred dollars which per year so that's not too bad i mean that's comparable to mobilize however mobilize you can create as many as you like so it is a little bit limiting but considering the power of weblium it's quite good i mean even 10 sites is only 500 dollars uh, per year and that figure 500 dollars compares to editor x which i will be reviewing but Editor X is my second choice. Um, and the only reason why I didn't go with uh, Editor X was because of the price that you have to pay per year. It would be nearly £600 for a year. Uh, so I would have gone for probably the 10 sites, which is uh, $500. I mean, they offer a, a range of templates that you can start with. That's what I did. I actually went through and... I mean, they're free website templates. So they are your actual, your, um, your, the way that you start process of, of, of actually making a, a website. Uh, I don't know if it's in the list here, but the one, uh, they got wedding websites, but not, not, that wasn't the one. It was, um, it was a dating website. The one template that I got was this one. Uh, so this was the, it's called Happy Couple dating website and it goes through I changed most of this um, and you obviously in here 
it goes through. Uh, obviously, the most important things are chat, private group, forums, polls, social media integration. And then, of course, you need to um, don't forget the sign up, terms of use, profile, matches, inbox, dating, blog. And obviously with that, you would assume that you would put in there some way that you could pay for that because no dating site's free. But obviously there is, no, um, there is no way that you can have that at the moment with the system unless I've missed it somewhere, unless it's an add-on. So this was the actual, the original uh, template that you can see. And of course I changed nearly everything. Um, you know, it was actually nothing like this. I mean, it was actually quite good. Uh, I can't show you it because it's been deleted. Okay, so rant time. It's a rant time because I am very, very annoyed. Right? I thought this, this was going to be the system that I would be using from now on. I can't express how easy... Um, the system is to make a video, to make a, uh, a website. In actual fact, I can tell you how easy it is. I spent basically Friday, uh, Friday afternoon, Saturday and Sunday morning making a website. And I nearly finished it. I was going to come back today to finish it off. And I had it Perfect. I had everything. I had all the information I wanted. I put in pictures, graphics. I had uh, links. I had a menu system. I had everything. And it was almost ready to go and pay for and sign up and then put my... Um, I'm really glad I didn't do my um, my uh, website address, but I didn't transfer that over because I would be very annoyed about that. So anyway, I've got it all set up and... I went to log on this morning and it wouldn't let me do it. It, it refused. Anyway, well, I went back in and changed my password and it, it came up with um, something like there's been a, a conflict or a access violation. Contact support. Anyway, so I thought, oh, that's a bit strange. Where's my website gone? Because I, I I wanted to show somebody it and I couldn't find a link. Obviously, I hadn't saved the link. But I, I went back onto the website and I thought, how am I going to contact them? No, no, I'll send them an email. And I thought, oh, all right then. So I sent them an email in the morning and then a few hours later, no response. So I, I went on Twitter and I got a Twitter account. Uh, difficulty logging in. After two days of site building, now Google button does not does not work, and manual entry, now account blocked due to sus suspicious activity. That was it. I need to get on editing the site. Hello, we're here to help you. Can you give us our email? So I give them the email, okay, and then the response was, let me check it out. Right, and then it was about 20 minutes later. Right, so this is the response I got. Thank you for waiting. I've checked your site, and it looks like your site has been suspended due to the violation of our terms of use. It is unfortunate to inform you that the site has been suspended along with your account as websites themed as a wedding agency, and similar activities are not allowed to hold with us. We are open to many services and agencies, but not in such a sphere, I am sorry. You can check our terms of use via this link, https colon slash slash com slash terms of use. And if you want to create another site in another sphere, we'll be glad to see you with us once again. Now, there will be some people out there who are going, oh, suck it up. You should have read the terms and conditions. Yeah, well, who does that? Who reads the terms of use? Which, by the way, are here. So you tell me, in this right content guidelines right so they're prohibited adult copyright content black hat seo illegal content 
Phishing, scams, harmful content, illegal products promotion. Um, right, so where, where did it say in there, please somebody tell me because I don't know where it says that you cannot have a dating agency website. And my complaint is that they offered a dating agency site as a template and I've wasted two days making this website. Uh, I was going to make videos about it and how to use it. And I was going to promote it quite heavily because it is a very, very good system. But it's spanks of YouTube, because YouTube, they just delete you. They don't tell you, because I've had no information about this. The first thing I know was when I tried to log on this morning. So basically I've said, But the theme I used on your site dating agency doesn't make any sense. I wasted two days creating that site with the possibility of making more and also YouTube training videos. I was that impressed with the product. Would have been nice to get a notice informing me of such actions, smacks of YouTube and what they do to creators. Anyway, thanks for looking into it. If there's no way around it, then it's goodbye I cannot recommend or waste time on this as I need a reliable product that communicates issues. As a side note, I would have gone for the 10 site annual fees. Hey ho! And I put the link to the template and uh, I said double standards, which is what YouTube have. Why, why offer the template? Why would anyone think that this was banned subject? Which I didn't. And why would I look in the terms of use to find out if there's a subject that they don't like? Anyway, response was this. I am sorry to hear that you spent a lot of time on it. But, unfortunately, such sites are not allowed with us. So that different sites with different themes can be created without any problem, but such a theme is not allowed. The template you see is only meant as a landing page site for the dating app. Like a small landing page that will guide the app, like Tinder, in the app market. While the site is indeed close to this theme, it will only serve as a landing page that will point the clients to the app in the app store or play market, which will review the very app. So this template is only meant to point to such an app, and will not serve as a wedding agency right on the site. The notification letter about the suspension was sent to your email prior to the suspension, perhaps it ended up in the spam folder or another folder. I am sorry to hear that you wasted time on this. So there you go. Clearly they don't value anybody and uh, $500 they would have got per year is now, well, not going to them. There you go. So they've lost out on me They've lost out on my front money and I cannot recommend them. Sorry, they are just um, completely a waste of time and customer service is up the chute. Uh, I'm quite surprised about that because it's no good saying go and read something. It's exactly like YouTube when they tell you to go and read the community guidelines and uh, you may or may not agree with me, but hey, I don't really bother about it because now I've got to go and find another uh application to use that's, uh, that's as easy and simple and I've got to go and recreate everything again from scratch because there's no way that I can save it. They've deleted it. It's gone. I am very, very annoyed that spending two and a half days on it and I've got nothing to show for it. Right, that's it from me. And if anybody is watching from Webliam, please contact me and let me know because I'm just very, very annoyed about this. You have wasted my time and my effort. And I need to get this website running ASAP. That's it from me. Bye for now.